In Florida, alligators also receive our hidden messages. And they react by challenging us to a contest. In the mating season, alligators produce ultra-low calls pitched below our hearing range. Males use these infrasonic roars to establish their status. Cars transmit similar low-frequency sounds and provoke alligators to a duel. Water dances in tune with the infrasonic waves as the alligators rise to the challenge. Alligators face further unnatural competition. Airboats create an even greater challenge from the sound of their propellers. But there is a challenger that beats all others. The Space Shuttle's infrasonic roar covers 80,000 square kilometers. Every male tries his hardest, but in this contest, there is only one winner. Infrasound carries further than any other sound, even across oceans. Whales have calls that can span these astonishing distances. The song of the humpback is the most complex in the animal world. Like humans, they even use rhyme, a technique we also use to remember complex songs. They also make low frequency calls that carry for a thousand kilometers. At depth, variations of temperature and pressure form a channel, like a voice tube, that can transmit their infrasound even further. It might even reach a whale on the other side of the ocean. In this way, a pod of whales, separated by thousands of kilometers, would be able to keep in touch. The Navy uses the same channel to transmit secretly to submarines, inadvertently jamming the signals of whales. Shipping generates more noise pollution. This low frequency din has increased tenfold in the last 30 years. The Navy also uses low frequency sonar to track submarines, affecting every whale within a thousand square kilometers. Mothers with calves react as if a predator is near. They head inshore, keeping between the calf and the open sea. At least one case of stranding has been linked to military tests of low-frequency tracking sonar. 